And welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday, the 3rd of March, the local media headlines today. And even the local media headlines are now all about Ukraine. Cornwall Council is now attempting to coordinate efforts to get aid to the hundreds of thousands of people now fleeing the country. With a collection point in St Blasey, supplies of everything from blankets to toothpaste will eventually be sent to Poland. The United Nations has estimated that four million people are likely to be displaced by the conflict. Meanwhile, County Hall has provided an update on what it's doing to help refugees from Afghanistan, with some unaccompanied teenagers now deciding that they don't want to come to Cornwall after all. The Devon and Cornwall police officer heard to make a racist remark has been sacked for gross misconduct. Three of Cornwall's four outdoor education centres face closure, even if the service can be successfully privatised. And tomorrow's make-or-break meeting of Cornwall Council's Cabinet, called to consider closing the Falmouth Leisure Centre, has been given an extra twist by claims that a management bid submitted by a local community group has not been accurately represented. The BBC continued coverage of the Ukraine crisis by reporting that the Cornwall-based charity Shelterbox is sending a team to consider how best to help. The charity started in Helston more than 20 years ago, but is now based in Truro. Pirate FM reported on a serious road traffic accident near Red Ruth. The Falmouth Packet looked at the proposed closure of Sainsbury's cafes. The Cornish Times promoted the work of the RNLI. And finally, Cornwall Live warned of fog. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.